Sarah Pease here at Drake Stadium. Uh, Sarah, NCAA Championships, you've been here before in the steeplechase. What does it take in a meet like this to be successful? Um, I think if you just come in and relax and do what you always do and just know that you can't you just have to have a consistently good day on the, in the prelims and then in the finals you just have to give it everything you have, then you'll be pretty successful. I think, you know, coming in and not overlooking anybody is important because there's going to be somebody that surprises you. Now, you are here, three men uh, in the steeple are here, you, got, you guys went 1-3-4 uh, at Big Tens. What are they putting in the water pit in Bloomington to uh, make the steeplers so good? Gosh, I don't know. Um, I just, I think the group of us, the four of us, are just really um, committed to working hard, and we're just really determined to be the best, like, in our area, event area. So I think that you know, any of the four of us could also run at NCAs, maybe in other events, and so that helps because, like, you know, we're strong in other areas. But you know, I think that we all just really enjoy the steeple and it's a fun event so now what's it going to take for you to be successful this weekend you know in your mind what's a successful weekend um in my mind like successful for me this weekend would be definitely to make it back to the finals and then uh i'd really like top three um top five would be okay but you know that's going to be a really tough thing to do the field this year is i think harder than it was last year so I think it's going to take maybe a season best to get into the finals and then probably a personal best to um, get that top three or even maybe the top five. So it's just, it's exciting because it's a really big challenge and, you know, this is kind of what I've been waiting for. So I'm excited. All right. Well, thanks for talking with me. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Here with Chris Vaughn, Drake Stadium, Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, Chris, you've been an All-American before, coming to an NCAA Championships. What does it take to be successful at a meet like this? Uh, just like indoors, when I was on the distance medley, just mental fortitude. you got to keep your head in it. And most of all, you just got to do what you did to get there in the first place. So you just come in, good attitude, uh, and keep yourself positive, and just run fast like you did before. Now, after the East prelims, I had several people tell me, they thought the most impressive leg on that 4 by one was leg number three, Chris Vaughn, coming around that back back curve. What is it that makes makes a leg of the 4 by one successful for you? Uh, honestly, I think, uh, for one, just judging the speed of Kahn coming in since he's second leg, just judging his speed properly, getting out strong. And then once I get that baton, the only thing I concentrate on is good knee lift and moving as fast as possible. So if I see somebody coming up on the side of me, I don't worry about them. I just run my race, stay up tall, good knee drift, or good knee drive, and just run the race. Now, Indian is not traditionally a sprint school, but you guys are kind of changing the culture a little bit. Had some great times in the 100, great times in the 200, great times in the 400 put up by this team. And then we got a four by one here for the first time in 19 years. So, you know, what is it, you know, is it is it something you guys have, have taken upon yourselves or, or you know, what is it that's helped you guys this year? Well, I think uh, it started just, we got in, a, brought in a good group of guys and then we started developing that over the years. and. Before you know it, we had a good team coming in. I mean, Devin, Kyan, me, and Tyler we had coming in. And I think over the last year or two, it's just been a progressive evolution from maybe us not being synonymous with a sprint school to us ultimately making it all the way to the Nationals in the 4 by one And I don't know, it's just incremental steps and eventually brought us to this point, and I hope we keep running this fast. All right, well, good luck this weekend. Thanks for talking with me. Very much. <laughs> All right. Ben Huber's here in uh, Drake University, Des Moines, Iowa. We're at the NCAA Championships. Ben, this is your third straight NCAA meet in the 5,000 meters. What have you learned in those two that make a successful 5K? Uh, mainly, I just learned that if you go out there and do what you did to get to the race, then you'll be fine. All right, you know, you've been to Des Moines before. Yeah. You were a Drake Relays champion, the distance medley relay. You've done a victory lap here. What is this environment like after you've done a race? Um, the 
drink relays, it was pretty crowded, pretty, pretty pumped up. And so I can only imagine what the NCAA atmosphere is going to be like. I think it's going to be pretty excited. Now, you've got three other teammates uh, on the men's side, distance runners, and you've got Sarah Pease here. What's been the key to making Indiana into a, uh, not that it wasn't before, but restoring Indiana as a distance uh, powerhouse? Uh, I think one of the most important things is believing in the program here. You know, we came in with Coach Helmer, and, you know, we've trusted him and he's done really great things for us. We've had a lot of success and uh, being able to train together, you know, um, obviously we train together every day. We've got a really good group of top guys and being able to train together, obviously, you know, a bunch of us are here from that top group, so that's paid off a lot for us. Now, I got one more question. The next question would be, yeah, you're running with Andrew Moore again in this race. Just kind of used to just running by each other, or you know, what is it that uh, has made you guys successful together on the track? Um, it's working together. I don't know. Um, someday, like this weekend, he's gonna be tired coming out of the steeplechase, so I'll probably lead, and he's just gonna follow me. And, you know, other weekends I'll follow him because he's one of the smartest racers that I know. But, yeah, no, it, it makes it real easy. Thanks for talking with me. Thank you, Kyle. Here at Drake Stadium with Faith Sherell. Faith, you're here at the NCAA Outdoor Meet. NCAA Indoor Meet took fourth. What's it going to take this weekend to improve on that? Um, definitely, you know, come out here and be prepared as I've been all year. Come out here and relax and not you know, get too nervous and stress out too much. Um, I know that, you know, I'm capable of throwing far, so I am capable. And you've thrown here at Drake Stadium before. How do you like the atmosphere? How do you like the throwing ring? Um, I love the atmosphere considering the bleachers are all around and since we're in the center of the track, um, we'll, a we'll be able to be seen a lot more. Um, the ring is great. It's not too slow, not too fast. And practicing on it today really, you know, got me set up for a good throw. So I'm excited. Got five women for the Hoosiers here. It was just you and Monique indoors. You got five here and it looks like the Hoosiers could score some points on the women's side. How does it feel to be part of a you know a team atmosphere here at NCAAs? It's great that year by year we keep increasing with the amount of girls that are going to be here and keep on to keep our to get, getting our ranking higher and higher. Um, just having a team and not just you know two people is you know great and you know we can have you know team time and things like that. So basically, if we come out here and do what we're supposed to, it'll be great. All right. Well, thanks for talking with me and good luck this weekend. Thank you.